On this episode, we'll be adding ESP Home to Home Assistant, wire a DH22 temp and humidity sensor to an ESP8266 board, configure and upload firmware to the ESP8266 so we could view temp and humidity on the dashboard. So stick around. If you like the videos I'm making, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel. For this project, we are going to need an ESP8266 board, a 4.7K resistor, and a DH22 sensor. I put a link to them in the description below to make it easy to find. Wiring the sensor is pretty straightforward. You need 3.3 volt and ground, which you could get from the 8266. The resistor needs to connect from the 3.3 volt to the data pin on the DHT22. I used pin 2 for the data input on the 8266. Here is the finished wiring. I ran out of heat shrink where I would have used it instead of tape. You could provide power from an external transformer or use a USB cable. Now let's move on to ESP Home. In Home Assistant, go to Supervisor, then click Add on Store. Search for ESP Home, click it to open. Now click Install. Once the installation finishes, click Open Web UI. Click the plus in the bottom right corner. Type in a name for your project and click Next. Select your device type. For my board, it's the Node MCU. Click Next. Enter your SSID and password for your Wi Fi. You could also enter a password for OTA access. I use the same password as my Wi Fi. Click Next. Now if we click on edit, we can see it has created a simple config file for the ESP8266 that will allow us to update over Wi-Fi. The first time we upload to the ESP, we have to do it over USB cable. So connect the ESP8266 to the computer or Raspberry that you are running your home assistant on by USB cable. Now in the drop down in the upper right, you should see something that says Dev TTY. Select it. If you do not see an option besides over the air, then try to restart Home Assistant. Sometimes it could be the USB cable, so try a different one as well. Once you have selected the Dev TTY option, go back to your project title and click Upload. The upload will take a bit to compile, upload, and verify the new firmware. Once it is complete, you can disconnect the ESP. Then go back to your project tile and click Edit. Add the code as follows, sensor, pin will set to D2, temperature, name, give it a name, humidity, give it a name, model is DHT22, or you could have DHT11, update interval set to 60 seconds, now click save. With your ESP wired up and powered, we could upload the firmware over Wi-Fi. On your project tile, click Upload. Once the process finishes, you should see temp and humidity readings at the bottom. Now go to Overview and look for the sensor. If you click on the temp, you can see the history in a graph. The same for humidity. You could go into settings and change the name and location if needed. Being able to use ESP boards with Home Assistant opens a lot of possibilities that we will explore in future videos, so make sure to subscribe. 